Carthago Delenda Est is one of the most enduring phrases of the Roman Republic, even if you ignore the fact that it's actually an abbreviation of the real quote. So in today's video, I took Cato's words to heart and marched on Carthage. Can we destroy it in one war? And can we live up to those famous Roman words? Stay tuned to find out. And here we are back as Rome guys, where last time we took over all of Greece and Macedonia, which is going to make us extremely overpowered in the next few decades of gameplay. In today's video, we are going to be uttering the famous phrase Carthago de Lenda Est, taking the first Provincia mission over here and going off after Sicily, Sardinia and Carthage itself. First things first though, guys, I've got to let this aggressive expansion tick down a little bit and our war exhaustion. So in the meantime, I'm going to be taking the Pearl of Italia mission, which is basically a playing tall mission set. And we're going to let the game run for about 10 years, guys, doing all of these missions, letting our aggressive expansion tick down and our war exhaustion tick down. So you're going to see me in about a decade of game time after this very swishy transition. <laughs> well, guys, there we go. 12 years in game later, we have finished this mission off, giving us some lovely little bonuses for Rome and all that sort of thing. So let's finish that off. And we are going to go straight for the first Provincia and go for the case of expansion here. Fantastic. In the meantime, we also managed to get triplex axes over here, which gives 5% discipline. Amazing. Let's go down Scutum and the Honor of Service here for that 2.5% extra levy size. Very nice indeed. Well then, guys, before the case for expansion even ends, we are going to attack this little coalition of tribes here on Sardinia. So let's go for that. They have an absolute ton of forts, guys. So, um, yeah, that, there's quite a lot of forts, so... It's Greece all over again. <laughs> Let's move in, guys, and it's literally just going to be a siege fest. <laughs> well, we get the drums of war. The mood in Rome is once again one of hopeful trepidation, of the calm before the storm, of the wistful yearning of fresh-faced soldiers for the spoils and adventures of war. Rome stands on the threshold of everlasting glory. The fates and future of all the peoples of the world perhaps lie in our hands. Much will be decided in the coming days. Absolutely. Let's go. So there we go. That allows us to conquer Corsica as well, guys. And we will get 10 pops in Illyria. That is fantastic. Let's go for that. And then we can do settling Corsica, which is going to allow us to uh, colonize all of this land pretty much for a little bit of money, which is uh, fantastic. Settlers will soon depart for Corsica. Let's also do Sicilian foothold over here. And we are going to go for Masana. I believe so. Let's go for that. And these are the events that you get when you colonize using this mission, guys. So it costs 78 gold, which is quite a lot. Some of them are less. Some of them are more, I believe, in some of these cases. But we can get ones with like three freemen. Or if we don't pay the money, we can just get one. Um, but I think it's worth the money to get that extra population. And there we go, guys. We basically got all of this land for free. And as you can see, there is a lot of population in this colonized land now. So we probably will have to form a city at some point. In fact, let's just do it now. Let's go for a city over here. In terms of text now, guys, we pretty much have everything that we want. We've got all the way down to cohorts here. We've got foundries. We've got um, grand temples and we've got grand theaters as well. So what I think we're going to do is go down this path here to liturgies to get 10% bonus tax income. That is going to be monstrous when we get going. Well, here we go, guys. The first battle of this whole war. They have gathered all of their troops together. Let's see how we do with their triplex axes here as well. Hopefully, that should be uh, very nice and easy. Oh, my days. Oh, <laughs> did you just see that? Oh, I feel almost bad for these guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, here we are, guys. An end to the war. Very nice indeed. Not much aggressive expansion for that as well. So we are going to banish because we are getting ready to fight Carthage. And we're going to delete most of these four. <laughs> well, guys, we are ready for Carthago de Lenda S. This is how we've set up our troops. We've got three stacks down here ready to take um, the island of Sicily. We've got a 7k up here ready to take Sardinia. I've left behind all of these sort of disparate... Uh, conscripties from around uh, the uh, areas of Greece currently over here in case Carthage decides to land, which they often very much do. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to sit on Sardinia 
and Sicily. Hopefully they'll land some troops. We'll stack wipe them, giving us the opportunity to come and take Carthage. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get about it, guys. Let's go for Syracuse. They have a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of friends in this mission, which is a little bit annoying. But um, what can you do? Well, then, moving in all over the place here, guys. This is going to be fun. We've absolutely destroyed them up there. We've destroyed those boys, too. So, uh, let's get our larger unit in here, which is you guys over that way. And we're going to send you guys around to there as well. And Thapsus has landed in the north. Uh, they are exiled, but, yeah, stranger on there, Thapsus. So, we don't actually need to go and kill them, but... <laughs> Why are they up here? Have you, has Carthage been fighting over there? I, I don't know. <laughs> and oh dear, guys. This is not a good event to have. We have a prominent lawmaker assassinated. Roman censor Petitus Sempronius Lepidus was brutally murdered in his home. Just Roman things, really, isn't it? After an important senatorial debate, Petitus had a fierce advocate for the rights of foreign minorities in Rome, going so far as to propose the formal extension of citizenship to all free men within the Roman borders. I mean, that is very progressive for this time, my friend. Of course, this would happen about 400 years in the future, in 212 AD, when Caracalla said that all free men within the empire would have the same rights as Roman women. So it is very progressive, Petitus. I know you're dead right now. But this is not a good event for us. <laughs> this is really not a good event. We're going to lose 25 loyalty in a load of um, places that don't have Roman as the dominant culture. Or we can go into a potential civil war. Now, I don't want a civil war. This may cause some revolts, but I think we can deal with it right now. And there's the first province to go, Pelagonia, over here. Let's go and deal with that. This is definitely a lot easier than dealing with a full civil war. But I'm going to go through these, make sure that we have harsh treatment on all of them. Minus 1.08. <laughs> oh. oh, of course, it's because of the food. It's because of the food. We need some food, please, guys. Well, that was possibly the worst time we could have ever had that in our first big war with Carthage. But we are just basically going to send these boys back to go and deal with them. And for the moment, I haven't even seen a singular Carthaginian navy. So, um, yeah, once we uh, once we have our ships back from over here, um, we'll, uh, we'll jump across, guys, and see what happens. And let's go, boys. We're on the ships. This could go disastrously wrong if, uh, <laughs> if they've got a lot of ships. We're probably going to land more over here if we can. So we're not trapped by the forts. Uh, and our guy has become depressed. Oh, dear. And I'm still extremely confused as to the lack of ships from Carthage anywhere. I can't see them anywhere. I mean, they have Thapsus over here attacking us. But, yeah. I mean, it's not exactly scary, is it, guys? That 1k of Thapsus over there. Although it can do a lot of damage. It can do a lot of damage. Well, here we go. We are about... To... Ooh. 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 Okay. Here's a big battle, boys. Here's a big battle. Why... Why do you have to do that? Well, you can't stop. Oh, this is unfortunate. Big battle time. See if we can get there in time. Let's go. Here we go. Yes, we could. Fantastic. Finally fighting a good battle against the Carthaginians. And we have won. Ha <laughs> ha Glorious. And let's see them attack us as well. There we go. Looks like we we have 134% discipline. Oh, <laughs> Yes! That is it. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, another battle. How many battles do you want, my friends? How many battles do you want? And there we go. 35,000 troops on Carthage. Honestly, although we might starve a few of these boys, I think the best thing is just to keep our troops together with the amount of troops that they're throwing at us right now. <laughs> well, there's the first revolt dealt with. That is fantastic. Scoopy will rise from the ashes. We're going to get rid of some of our aggressive expansion as well. And luckily now, guys, as you can see, okay, not the not these ones down here, but these ones up here, they're all positive now. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to change this around a little bit. Oh, we are on harsh treatment here. Oh, well. And there's a Carthaginian Navy. Yes, we found one, guys. I think we should beat that unless they have, you know, done a lot of technology in, um, in the ships over here, which we haven't done any yet. <laughs> I mean... It's just not that necessary, in my opinion, to do this too much. But 
They might have done a lot of that. They are Carthage after all. And there it is, guys. Carthago Destruitor. Very, very nice indeed. We got 12 pops <laughs> from Carthage. Um, let's uh, let's get a little bit of a little bit of a <laughs> food with these boys. Um, we're dropping off these guys over here as well. And there we have another revolt, do we as well? Where is that uh, that other revolt? Um, somewhere. I just don't actually know where it is. Where is it? Where are you, Revolt? Where are you? Well, it's actually not our Revolt. It's uh, Carthage's Revolt, but just because they popped out of Carthage, we're at war with them now as well. But we'll let Carthage deal with that, I think. And once again, the Boney coming in clutch with an absolutely awesome agenda. A library and two marketplaces for 150 gold. A nice little discount on three buildings that are going to be produced for free. And as soon as we click this button, awesome. And there is the next city along, guys. We're going to test our metal once again against these boys from Carthage. Let's have a look at how we... Oh, my God. Even with the war elephants, they're just not doing anything. Look at the amount of morale we still have. <laughs> oh, my days. And we're not even using triplex axes because of... Uh, we're using the mercenaries there. <laughs> That is just filthy, honestly. That is just absolutely filthy. And it's just just absolutely brutal. Look at that. That is absolutely brutal. Just absolutely destroying the Carthaginians everywhere we go. Well, guys, I think we can take 100% war score here. So this is the deal we're going for. Making sure that we do take all of Sardinia and Sicily and taking Carthage. We've already achieved our goal of the video, guys. If that is something you enjoy, watching Carthage get ruffle stomped by Rome, guys, make sure you do like and subscribe. Genuinely, it really does help the channel out, and we are on the way to 5,000 subscribers now as well. Let's try and hit that. Well, here we go. Let's press OK. We are going to become a great power as well. Well, guys, I have left every other great city standing. Syracuse, Pella, Thessalonica, Athens, all of them standing and having a good time. But I think for the memes, for the boys, and most importantly of all, for Rome, let's take everything of value from Carthage. And now we are a great power. That's going to allow us to get Marian reforms as well, guys, which is a very, very important reform, in case you didn't know. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Carthage is now a settlement. <laughs> I, I think we will refound Carthage as a city, seed as it does have 36 population, but um, <laughs> it was worth it, guys. It was worth it. <laughs> right, let's disband all of our levies, and that is quite a significant amount of experience, I think. I think we can clean up all of these forts now, guys, as well. We 100% don't need these up here. We don't need these down here. I'll probably keep the one at Regium just in case. And we'll probably get rid of a few of the forts along here, maybe. And now we can do a load of our missions, guys. Secure Sardinian coast. Fantastic. There we go. And we can choose what we want to do. So let's go for Carolus here, guys. It's got the most population. Next, let's go for Punic Sicilia. And we'll go for Panormus because that's seven pops. And honestly, we've got a lot of cities. Uh, I'm not too bothered about founding another city over here. And then, of course, we have Land of the Tyrant. Syracuse, which withstood the Athenian expedition and birthed the most depraved tyrant tyrants, has finally fallen. Their lands have returned to Italic rule though they prepared fine cities for us to move into. With newly conquered territory comes the inevitable parceling of land uh, and distribution of promises. So yeah, I think it can only be Syracuse is of course the best one. 10 pops! That is nice. So let's go for the red basket as well, guys. 180 days and that'll be complete. Then we can do unruly populace. And with our money we received from that war, guys, I'm going to go around and build a few grand theatres, especially over in our newly conquered land. Well, that event has truly been catastrophic for our provincial loyalty, guys. Like, we have so much land on harsh treatment right now. It's unbelievable. All because of that event. Before, all our provinces were generally okay. So hopefully that event times out rather soon. But I think because of that, we're going to have to just wait a little bit. Calm down for a second. We've set out to take Carthage, but we'll continue our expansion 
as well. Well, there we go, guys. The breadbasket of the Mediterranean. Every province on the island of Sicily receives 25% local tax for 180 months and population growth. Sicilia is famed for the quality and abundance of its grain. With the island under Roman control, we can increase production and ensure the people of Rome will never need to go without their daily bread. Fantastic. Let's now go with unruly populace. And of course, we're not going to release Sardinia as a tribal vassal. That is just stupid. No, nope. they are going to live and die under Rome's shadow. <laughs> and let's get the honor of service. Levy size multiplier plus two and a half percent, which is uh, pretty darn good. And there we go. We get a Sardinian uprising. Uh, uh, great. I mean, I, I don't think you're going to win, guys, but <laughs> 61 pops in Italian out. And we'll go kill those barbarians as well. I, I didn't even see them. <laughs> That's what you tune in here for, guys. Quality game content. Well, there we go. Sardinia is dealt with. And that allows us to do the first provincia over here, guys. We have established control over the islands of the Mediterranean, supplanting the ancient Greco-Carthaginian hegemony. That, what shall we do with these new holdings, peopled by foreigners of no relation to our own blood and in remote places far from the ears of the Roman masses? The islands could become very profitable if properly managed, but perhaps we should concentrate first on contriving a sense of loyalty and obedience. Every own province in the island of Corsica, Sardinia and Sicilia receives the province of Sicania. Uh, metropolitan province so integrated culture happiness plus 10 percent. we don't have many of those to be fair pop conversion speed and local citizen desired ratio or we get slave output and slave desired ratio i mean i don't think we want to take the minus five percent at the moment i think this is just better in general because we want to convert the population anyway so uh yeah these people uh, the people of these islands will soon call roma home and that allows us to finish this mission guys fantastic the coming of the city of Carthago. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely didn't destroy that, did we? <laughs> yeah, great. And guys, once again, I'm going to let you decide where we go next. So do we want to end the Adriatic Pirates, which is taking out the Illyrians over here? The conquest of Africa, which genuinely will be conquering all of Africa, North Africa over here. Um, and Cisalpine Gaul as well, going into the Gauls in the north. So up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. In the meantime, though, guys, while we do basically own nearly all of Macedonia, apart from this tiny little bit, let's take matter of Macedonia. That's going to allow us to uh, build a few colonias over here and hopefully keep the people... A little bit happier. <laughs> so let's consult the Senate. And while we've got the money, guys, I'm going to dedicate a holy site to Pluto over here. That should allow us then to get some extra things in here because we've got loads of them. Look how many we've got. And uh, there's no point not dedicating a holy site and getting some of these bonuses in. Like, look at this. Herodorus Olympic Wreath. 3% pop conversion speed. That is amazing. Then we're also going to go for integrated culture happiness of 10%. That is amazing as well. Let's take out the remaining Pionians over here. Should be nice and quick. Well, there we go. It's literally a couple of months, guys. Very nice indeed. That's going to allow us to do the rest of our missions on this tree. So here we go. Controlling Pionia. 15 pops are assimilated to Roman culture. That is actually insane. One thing I definitely should have been doing earlier, guys, which has caused a lot of this provincial unrest, is building the grand theatres in the lands in Italia. Because as you can see, if we take Campania, for example, only 27% of the population here is Roman. It's still dominated by Sabellian. So we want to try and change that around to become Roman. So um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start building a few in the lands in Italy and they're good even after you've integrated everyone because it's civilization level and uh, provincial loyalty as well. And as you can see now, guys, we are basically stabilized. Everything going up apart from Thessaly, which is only at 0.01 now, which is fantastic. And now we can get national tax plus 10% from liturgies. Then we're going to get Gromatici. And then we're going to come down towards urban planning. We definitely need some roads around our lands, guys, which is why we're getting that one. And we're also going to get D architectura over here which is going to make roads really cheap to build 
Well, I've just been happily building away, guys, and now we get the Fulcinian reforms. The poor, numerous and downtrodden, have long argued for inclusion in the great armies of Rome. After generations of oppression, one man has risen to the challenge, uh, to challenge the status quo and to represent the interests of these lower classes. Gaius Fulcinius Marius, Marius, who many argued has one of the greatest minds of our generation, holds a crucial stance in our Senate, walking the fine line between populism and nobility whilst retaining credibility amongst his peers. Ever an innovative thinker, he has tabled a proposition demanding the complete overhaul of our recruitment policies and allowing greater inclusion of the lower classes in matters of state military. Such a radical reform is sure to have consequences, whichever, whichever the stance we take. So we get aristocratic dismay, minus 10% and citizenship output minus 25 percent and five aggressive expansion that's fine but we get marian reforms guys which allows us to raise levies anywhere we get this for free without the stability decrease as well so of course we are going to take it fantastic and let's get one more military tradition guys march of the eagles morale of armies and heavy infantry discipline fantastic well guys we have churned through a few years now and i have built grand theaters in most of the cities in the whole of Italia. In some of these provinces, as you can see, it's very low percentage of our culture, 42%. And like I say, we're going to try and stay Roman as long as possible, guys, just for the memes. So yeah, we are really, really going to supercharge ourselves now, including across in Sardinia, Sicilia, and in Africa as well, we've built those, which is going to be amazing going forward. I've also, as you can see, guys, built a road network all the way from Syracuse up to the north to Batavium and to Pisae up here. That is really going to help our troop movement out when we start going to war with these northern boys. And as you can see, we no longer have really many disloyal provinces. And if we have a look at our culture, guys, 2,500 Romans now, which is absolutely fantastic out of 7,000. 500 total population that is going to explode in the coming decades with all of this lovely conversion in our cities in italia well guys like i said before make sure you do vote on the next mission whether you want us to go north into gaul whether you want us to conquer the whole of the north of africa or whether you want us to go into illyria let me know down in the comments below make sure you do like and subscribe guys as well it really does help the channel out I really do hope you enjoyed this one. This one was very pleasurable for me taking Carthage out over here. And I'll see you all again on the next video. As always, massive thanks to the channel members, David, Pascal, and Cowie. Thank you very much for being channel members. If you are interested, guys, on getting some extra perks and supporting the channel, the link is down in the description below where you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. Massive thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again on the next video.